Today is a day for giving, and many people may be thinking about that during the holidays. But how can you make a greater impact with the dollars that you choose to give? So our money expert, Dustin Smith from Wealth Enhancement Group, joining us this morning. Hey, Dustin, how are you? Happy Giving Tuesday. Yes, I'm, I'm doing great. Thanks for having me. <laughs> so how, how do you think people should go about, or what do you advise people to go about on deciding which causes they want to give to? Yeah, I mean, this, this can be complex because there's so many good ones. Uh, you know what? I always tell people to try to focus on one or two charities that they care most about, right? Um, as opposed to just giving a little bit to lots of different charities. When you really focus on one or two that you care most about, number one, that aligns uh, you know, that allows you to give a gift that aligns most with your values, but it also allows you to make a really impactful gift to those one or two charities, which that money can go a long way then. Dustin, mm -hmm. before we were talking about Seinfeld and the episode with Festivus and the made up charity. And one yes. thing that I focused on too is I found that <laughs> local, if you give local, there's a better, there's a better chance that your money stays right here in the community. And that serves a greater purpose too, right? Yeah, absolutely. And it's something that you can see, right? I mean, there, there's nothing wrong with some of these large international uh, charities out there. I mean, if you, if you care about them, give to them. But it's sometimes hard to see the impact of your gift. But if you give locally, as you said, AJ, you sometimes can just drive down the road and see that yeah. in action, uh, which I think is a big thing. And many of us work for companies, us here included at CBS, where the company yeah. will match yeah. any financial donations that you choose to give uh, to a nonprofit. And I think, you know, mm -hmm. at least some people don't know about that. Yeah. So, you know, if you don't, if your company does it, go ahead and do it. But if you don't know, maybe go ahead and ask. Absolutely ask, right? Yeah, because sometimes these things are hidden, right? <laughs> you know, we especially if you're new to a job, which a lot of people are these days, right? Uh, sometimes you start jobs and you're just kind of drinking from the fire hose and you don't really know the background of that culture. So sometimes just ask a coworker or your HR department, say, hey, you know, if I give to this charity, is there any sort of match out there? And if not, ask about it, right? Maybe that's something that they'd be interested in doing. I like the note that you have here, commit to a multi-year giving to one charity. Yeah, I mean, so think about charities, you know, they're, they're not necessarily for-profit businesses, right? But, you know, they have to manage a budget. And if you can somehow say, you know, I'm gonna give to you this amount of money for this many years, it allows them to plan ahead, right? Because you can imagine how difficult it must be for some of these charities every year to go, gosh, I don't know how much money we're gonna have today, and, th and therefore, how are we gonna plan out the next five years? Mm -hmm. So, yeah. but if you can plan ahead, it allows them to plan ahead as well. Uh, one thing you also tell us, make unrestricted gifts. And I always think about this when my uh, yeah. college calls up and I say, well, I want to give to the girls' soccer team only. Yeah. But they'll say, hey, well, what about maybe if you give us an unrestricted gift, we'd be able to give more scholarships out, right? I mean, yeah. it, it, that's something to consider. Yeah, or simply stay in business, right? You, you can think about it. So sometimes people want to be very specific, which makes sense, right? right? It uh, aligns really well with your values. But sometimes these organizations might just need that money to keep the lights on, or there's a very specific thing that they're focusing on that year. So if you give them too many restrictions, they might not be able to use that money accordingly. And so loosening those restrictions allows them to do the things that they are there to do. Dustin, you just touched on something that I think is really important too. It's donating to something that you yourself are passionate about too. Yeah, absolutely. I, I just think that, you know, money is an enabler, right? So we use it to purchase, uh, you know, goods and services and all these sorts of things, but it also allows you to say, I made this money and I want the good, uh, I, this is a way that you can kind of share your values, if you will, with the rest of the world, right? Uh, through a conduit of a charity. Hey, real quick, you have a good Thanksgiving? I had a great Thanksgiving. Oh, home to Nebraska. Great to hear it. it was lovely. Uh, it was nice to see family. And, and did you as well? Yeah, we all sure did. did. Heather sure was hosting did. this year. We had a great Thanksgiving. All went well. Oh, well. Turkey wasn't dry. That's all I can ask for, <laughs> That's Dustin. A win. It's a big one. <laughs> hey, Dustin, as always, thanks.